15 minutes. I think I'll settle with the muffin. I mean, I'm not too hungry and all this moving's gonna make me exhausted. Nom, nom, nom. Francisco. I think at the next right it'll be my house. Oh my gosh, my first house. already so oh my gosh 
this is the city life, isn't it? Okay, here are my box of stuff. Let's explore the house a little bit. Okay, so I believe this is my own personal office. Um, Haven didn't have anything like this, so I guess San Francisco was a place to be. Even Barry Avenue didn't have things. I had been searching for so long. A bathroom downstairs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They never had this in Brookhaven or Barry Avenue. And this must be the upstairs? Let's look around. My whole laundry room. Oh my gosh, no more laundromats, all these clothes, everything's already pre-put for me, even dirty laundry. Oh, what's your name? I did ask them to bring me the pet I saved, but I didn't know they were actually going to bring her. I'll name you Vivian, if you know you know. A nursery? Um, I don't know when I'm going to need this. Oh, Stephanie, you made it. Oh my gosh, all my pets are here. I'm so happy I found a landlord that would let me bring pets in. In Mary Avenue, I was never allowed to have pets, like, ever. Not even a goldfish. And this must be the master bedroom. It's very coastal. Not really my thing. I mean, I could do it up, but I kind of like how it is. This must be the bathroom. Already fully stocked, like I requested. So, I love the color of this room, but I think that might be too hot of a pink for me. I mean, I did ask for a lot of floral designs in my house, and they really came through with that. Oh my gosh, even the tulips. Oh wow. Let's look at this last room. Again, very coastal. I did ask for a lot of coastal themes, but this room doesn't really suit my vibe. I like it though. Oh, a whole three monitor PC. Oh, I definitely upgraded. Is this what San Francisco is all about? duffel bags ready here all my packages too oh my gosh look at this record player oh my gosh my laptop my clothes yep this is definitely the room oh, this bed too better than any bed i had back in barry avenue maybe i'll just chill here for the rest of the night or at a pizza maybe i'll think i'll have an acai bowl just for now but later tonight i'll probably order myself some pizza Yard. Seems like a great place to relax. Maybe I'll just sit here and enjoy the view. Nom, nom, nom. I'm so happy I moved. Hey guys, it's Auntie. Welcome back to or welcome to my channel now. I know this seems a bit informal considering I've been gone for like almost two years and every time on my community tab i'll be like i'm coming back i'm coming back i'm coming back and i don't so i think it might be good to tell you guys where i've been okay so i'm pretty sure the last video i made was actually live streamed in royal high the day before eighth grade and i was saying something along the lines that eighth grade might be a little harder i don't know if i said it but i knew it and trust me it did get to those expectations eighth grade was definitely very um heavy just like all the work and i'm the type of person who's a bit of an overthinker and my school has a bit of a different layout so basically kind of like the scores you get in eighth grade determines what scores and what classes you would get in high school so i was being very particular about what i did and then i didn't come back 8th grade into ninth grade summer because I was just trying to relax and I totally YouTube totally skipped my mind wrongfully so though and I did try to come back many times but just different things kept on getting pushed in my direction and I just lost track of all of it and then there was ninth grade which trust me I'm so sad to scare any incoming freshmen but that was probably one of my hardest school years like 
ever. It was definitely very exhausting and I just had to work really hard to maintain the grades I had and I just didn't have time to put YouTube into that mix. So now it is June 24, 2023, the day of recording this and I am a sophomore in high school now. Well, being a soft, going to be a sophomore in high school. And throughout the summer, I just felt like there was something missing. Even through the school year, 8th grade, I felt like there was something missing. And i try to come back to YouTube, I would get so pumped, and then I'll have an assignment, or I'd have a project. And then I'll do that, and I'll get tired, and I'll go to this endless cycle of just forgetting. But now that I have the free time again, I want to come back to YouTube, and I mean it this time. So I sat my butt down, I made this video, but it felt wrong just to upload it without telling the people who supported me where I've been. You guys have been waiting for a long time, you've been so patient with me, I even see on all the group, um, the group wall telling you guys that you missed me and I missed you guys too and I vowed to stay and this really was a passion and I don't want to lose it again. I definitely took this for granted because I thought, oh, YouTube would be super duper easy. It isn't as easy. I'm super privileged for this to be like my main quote unquote job. I know a lot of people work hard jobs and I cannot compare what I go through to what they go through, but I did not expect it to be like this. Especially as being a student, I just underestimated myself and I thought I could take I overestimated myself and that I could take more than I actually could. But I've come to a point in my life where my level of organization is a, like is compatible to do YouTube now and I intend to stay on YouTube. So everyone who stayed with me while I've been MIA these past few years, I want to say I love you and thank you and you subscribing was not in vain. I promise it was not in vain. I'm back and I intend to stay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, please press that subscribe button, like, and comment down below the bear emoji. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.